Hey, how you doing today? My name is Chris. What we're going to talk about today is phaser addition part three. Previously in other videos, we talked about how we add triangles together when we're given the horizontal and vertical components. What we're talking about today is if we're given the hypotenuse of a triangle and the angle, how can we take these and make a resultant triangle from those? So what we've got over here, we have a horizontal vertical chart, which helps us kind of plot the coordinates on our triangles in a more simpler way instead of just drawing a bunch of triangles all over the place. So what we're going to do is take the hypotenuse of our first triangle, 11.66, with our angle of 30.96 degrees, and I'm going to plot it right in here. 11.66 at an angle of 30.96. We have our second triangle, 8.6 is our, hypot our hypotenuse, sorry, at an angle of 54.46. Okay. Now, if you notice on the horizontal vertical chart, right beside horizontal, I've got the coast written. And right beside vertical, I have the sine written. The horizontal of our triangle is always going to be the adjacent, so we can always use the coast function when we're talking about trigonomic functions. And the vertical of our triangle is always going to be the opposite. Okay? So we can always use the sine function. So taking our hypotenuse of 11.66 multiplied by the cos of 30.96 degrees, we end up with a horizontal of 10. Okay? Taking that 11.66 hypotenuse and multiply, multiplying it by the sine of 30.96, we should end up with a vertical of 6. Do the same thing for our second triangle, hypotenuse times the cos of 54.6 gives us 5 as our horizontal, and 8.6 times the sine of 54.46 gives us 7 as our vertical. Now, as previously mentioned, I cannot add these two together. I can't add my hypotenuse because they're at different angles. However, when we talk about our horizontal, our horizontals are on the zero axis, our verticals are on the 90 axis. I can add those together because they're at the same angle. Okay, so we end up with a total horizontal of 15. We end up with a total vertical of 13. Okay, now, before we do anything, I can take a look at those and say, well, these are both positive coordinates when I look at my Cartesian plane. I know that it's going to be somewhere over here, okay, and somewhere up here. Gives me an idea that my resultant phasor should be somewhere in that quadrant. Okay, now by through using Pythagorean's theorem, we have our a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, we substitute these value. This is our a, this is our b, other way around, okay a squared plus c squared, we should end up with a resultant hypotenuse of 19.85. Now there's the magnitude of our resultant hypotenuse. All we have to do to find the angle is simply use our ka function or our cos function from Sokotoa. Substitute, as I said, our horizontal will be our adjacent, which is 15 divided by our hypotenuse of 19.85. Okay should give us an angle of 40.9 degrees. Okay, I hope this helps. Like I say, the horizontal vertical chart gives us a little bit of a simpler way to solve this resultant. Uh, and I hope this helps, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.